For this episode, we went somewhere special. We went somewhere other than the Pennsylvania woodlands and forests. We actually traveled south down to Maryland to see what frogs and toads made this carnivorous plant nursery home. We had the opportunity to come down at night, check it out, and film and document whatever we could find. And boy, was this an exciting night. Look at this beautiful eastern gray tree frog that we were able to locate. It wasn't too hard because these guys were calling in the swimming pool. But these are, there's another one we'll show you on the other side of this cover. But these gray tree frogs are taking advantage of this pool cover because they're able to get down in here and they're making their calls much more uh, broadcast, if you will, compared to the other gray tree frogs because they have a nice, great echo. So these guys here are some of the smartest great tree frogs in the population because they're coming to this pool and if they do get a mate in the pool that's great look at that so I I, uh, I don't know if you have a Facebook but I did a live video about two weeks ago I was holding I know where he's at I was holding a great tree frog in my hand and they were calling over me as I was speaking on the live video huh. because they're just so it, it depends on what time of the year it is so that's not what I'm see Colin, these guys are your biggest fans because they use the plants. If we're playing hide and seek, guys, I think I'm winning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Frog stand, no chance. <laughs> Shot of him. I'll point. He's in here. He's in the hole. Yeah, they're definitely revved up. <clears throat> Just want to point out to you guys on the camera the American toad tadpoles that are swimming around underneath this pair and behind this pair there seems to be two probably two eastern gray tree frogs Guys, I've never filmed any frogs or toads in Amplexus and actually laying eggs from start to finish. But check this upcoming scene out of these northern green frogs. It's unbelievable. This is probably the luckiest that I've ever been filming anything for Frog Week. I mean, talk about being in the right place at the right time. These two grabbed onto each other right before I started filming. It was almost like it was meant to be in that exact moment. There is a great tree frog out here somewhere. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Well, I've never seen that either. Talk about being in the right place at the right time. 
Do, does the male fertilize them after the female well, releases them? It happens simultaneously. So the male will fertilize them externally as they're coming out. Yeah. That's super cool. A wild animal porno. I've never, I've never seen that. You know, I was thinking though, like, because it was so hot today, I'm sure all the amphibians are like super amped up right now. Oh, yeah. heck yeah, heck yeah. yeah. This is the, like the gray tree frogs and green frogs. This is what they breed in like warm summertime stuff. This mm -hmm. is their, this is their element right here. Yeah. I was going absolutely crazy trying to catch everything that I could on film. I was handing Maria my iPhone, running around with other cameras, trying to get every angle of this. However, I just wanted to show what we got on the Sony camera because this was the nicest, sharpest image of this amazing scene. I can't even really tell what I'm looking at. Like, where's the male? He's on top. Oh, so the female's submerged. Yeah, and she's laying them and he's helping her to push them out. He's got a very impressive hiding place. How many do you think I located? I probably located like at least a dozen frogs. Oh, he's... I'm... In fact, I'm sure that you could locate all of them <laughs> if you were here just a little bit longer. <laughs> yes, we had a great time, found a lot of frogs tonight. I'm really pleased to learn that the habitat we create for our plants um, also happens to be a great habitat for frogs and toads. Um, so we saw some really cool things and uh, it was great to have Aaron here and I didn't, I didn't have any idea there were so many frogs and toads. Uh, thriving in our carnivorous plant habitat. Thanks for watching Frog Week and be sure to like and subscribe and share for more content. Special thanks to all our sponsors too. We appreciate you guys.